My heart shook as the fear of losing my smartphone held me tight. Hi Greatness, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Femi Wallace, the solution peddler. My heart shook as the fear of losing my smartphone held me tight. The first thought that crossed my mind were the documents, the notes, the videos, and the PDF files which seemed much important to me. You see, I had no memory card, so the documents were not backed up. Where would I start from? Would I be able to recollect the notes I had written or stored in it? I took my phone to a phone repairer whose workshop was about 700 meters away from my residence. So we haggled the price for repair. At last, we came to a good end. I left my phone with him for a day or two, and on returning to his workplace, I received it. Yet, while leaving home, I was still hoping it would begin to function. My heart was encompassed with mixed feelings. The battery was recharged, but unfortunately, the phone didn't work. I returned to the seemingly cool-headed repairer, who then told me I needed to change one thing or another. As a matter of fact, he told me that I would have to get a new casing. But I thought about it, this would cost me a lot more than I was prepared for. Uh, perhaps he was amateur and would have, would have to hand over the phone to a superior co repairer who knew what to do. But he had a shop, right? So I thought he should be able to do the right thing. So I had to wait for about two weeks when I received remuneration from the monotechnic I was working in. The day of remuneration, I took my phone to another repairer whose suppression fee was much less the amount the previous guy had charged. It seemed as if this repairer was a big gun in his domain because I could see his shop with more influx of customers than any other shop in the vicinity. I waited for more than a couple of hours and then, thank God, my miniature mobile phone gained resuscitation. It came back to life. The body parts were featuring in good shape. What's my point? I would have had to worry less if and only if I had saved the documents or files that looked so dear to me on a memory card or flash disk or drive. The phone, which had a lot of information on it, would not share but keep to itself. What is that? We need to share our dreams with people, especially those who believe in us, so that even if we develop amnesia, they will remind us, though we die, they will help us complete it. Do you remember Walt Disney? Walt Disney was the one man who envisioned and started working towards the actualization of Disney Resorts, which he wanted to be a fun theme park for children and adults. So he died 11 years after its opening, those with whom he had shared his desires and ideas too, as well as those people who were inspired by such fascination, helped him and are still helping him carry his healthy load. In fact, according to a study, since its opening, Disney, Disneyland has undergone a number of expansions and major renovations. In fact, it has a larger cumulative attendance than any other theme park in the world, with more than 650 million guests as it opened. Wow. In 2013, the park hosted approximately 16.2 million guests, making it the most visited park in the world that calendar year. And according to a study, Disney Resorts provides more than 65,000 jobs. Let me tell you, Several months after graduating from senior school, my friend Ruko Emmanuel, who seems now to be an evangelist who had attended the same school as I, sent me a message via Facebook and told me not to forget my intention of becoming a motivational speaker. I cannot remember exactly what led to my telling him that or why I had to tell him that. But you know what? I mean, I've just relinquished that dream, but for his reminder, so the ignition had to resurface. The dreams and visions I have shared with a great many individuals propel me to a no relinquishment zone. Few of them believe in me so vehemently and do encourage me. One vital truth that needs not be neglected is your dream may be personal, but it is not optional. It is everyone's business because when your dream materializes, it will definitely be for the benefit of not one person, but all. Another way to back up your dreams is to ink out and revise it frequently. Put your dreams to paper. Writing and the process helps you to really crystallize your thoughts. Put your dreams on paper and drawing and writing or even both. It will be good for you. As a matter of fact, I heard and I believe that when you share your dreams with people, you put pressure on God. 
And Joseph is a paragon of this phenomenon. How you hold you today? Not to keep that obsession to yourself. Communicate it to others, those who believe in you, put pen to parchment. Even if people try to run you down or talk you out of your dreams, as long as you keep focused on God, it will turn things around in your favor. If God is for you, it is hard for people to defeat you. It is hard for circumstances to overcome you. You have to rely on God because He is the ultimate backup plan. He is the most highly esteemed backup who in a beast eternity and is mighty and lofty. You need a backup. I had a lady who knew the end of the book she was writing, but could not leave to complete it. The husband said, my wife is writing this book, but I don't know how she wanted to end it. I don't know how she would have loved to end it. What kind of dream will encompass your mind today? Share it with two people who believe so much in you. I tell you today that in life, if you do not have a backup, you will soon have your back down. To progress in this field called life, you need a backup. This is a universal principle which will work when you work the principle. Remember, you need a backup. And this is what I call the backup principle. Remember that you are not a loser in the field of life, but rather you are closer. You are greatness. You are made of more and made for more. You must win and nothing less. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, 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 oh